Now we're going to turn to talking about nurture. This is the automated piece. So we've now, in theory, freed up a whole bunch of time from the time vampires who are sucking our time away with uh, marketing that really will not have a good return on your investment of time. And we're going to turn to how do we use automation to nurture the rest of the list, okay? The list of people who did not make it to the top 20 to 30, okay? And that's here, nurturing your flock. Um, and again, the word flock is picked intentionally because you want to think about uh, these relationships as relationships that really you need to nurture and you're responsible for. You're responsible for doing the right thing for them because that is ultimately what's going to bring you the most business. Um, when people have lists they do marketing to, uh, some of them will, what's called in the marketing world, burn the list, which means send them a whole bunch of crap that they don't like. Um, and most people will leave the list. So we want to think about creating a consistently um, high trust and a consistently valuable experience for your flock so that they can be guided by you when it comes time to having the kind of problem that you can help them with. So if you think about them, I mean, some people use the word in marketing, herd. Uh, um, herd sounds, didn't never really sat right with me. I think flock is the right way for me to think about it. You really, you are helping to shepherd them to a good solution whenever a solution that you offer is there. And if you are not the right solution, that means helping them find the right solution. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're nurturing your flock, your, again, your contact list of people who are not getting the manual marketing. 